Morning guys, uh, today is Wednesday, I'm not actually sure what date it is, I think it's the 26th. Um, yesterday <coughs> I, I ended up giving up, um, basically after I had the cup of coffee, my feet were so cold I couldn't feel them basically, um, and my hands were in exactly the same state, plus I needed some food. Um, it was quite a trying day yesterday but we did get some bits and pieces done. Uh, some good jobs done that needed doing, and that was the uh, so that was a bonus. Uh, so I'm here up uh, at the allotment again today. It's Wednesday, as I say. Um, set off nice, bright, and early. <coughs> Called into the shop to get some dry wood, so in the hopes of getting this uh, last of the pallets burned off, and I don't know, potentially even the uh, ground sheets that we uh, lifted yesterday, depending on whether they've dried out any or not. <coughs> And by the time I came out the shop, it was pouring down. So I'm not sure how much we're going to get done today, if anything at all. Um, it's becoming really challenging now. I'm sitting here in the car and I'm in two minds whether to just go back home or not. Because basically, um, I'm fed up with the weather. The, you know, soon you get started on something, it opens from the high heavens. You, you take cover for a short while. Um, you go back out, you try to start again, and it just keeps coming. So there seems to be no let up, and, and the forecast isn't good for the rest of the week, so I'm slightly disappointed in that. Uh, I just need a few fine days to try and get finished. Anyways, gonna get the Wellingtons on in a minute. We're gonna go up there, try and remain positive, and try and get something done. Whatever we get done will be a little bit more than is already done and uh, we'll bring you along, we'll see how we get on and see what sort of video we have today. Okay guys, catch you later, bye. Okay guys, quick update. So on a positive note, the sun's shining. How long for, we don't know. Um, so I came up here this morning <clears throat> and for the last hour, um, you can, it doesn't look like we've anything done, but I have, and my back's broke again. Basically I came back up here yes, uh, this morning <clears throat> And this entire uh, this entire ground was just like a river. So I've just been in there again with the spade this time. And what I've done is I've actually dug down with full spade and I've had to lift the ground up high and then let it go back down again uh, and get rid of all the puddles of water that was just sitting in here. And uh, it was just never, ever, ever gonna drain. And even with the aerating yesterday, um, it hadn't made any significant difference um, It was just like a river and as you can see I've actually got a couple of old pallets down here For to be able to walk on to get over towards where I'm going to burn uh, the wood if it stays dry long enough <clears throat> So yeah, um, for the last hour I've just brought me back getting in here with a spade and uh, Digging holes and lifting the entire ground to let the water down um, and hopefully it will dry now from here. I'm going to try to keep off that bit of ground there until it uh, at least dries off a little bit, uh, if that's at all possible. So we're going to crack on, guys, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, guys, so the sun's still shining. Uh, I've just been back in there again and give that a bit of another loosen up. Um, it is starting to dry and drain now. As I say, it was like a river this morning. It was ridiculous. I took one look at it and thought, oh, I'm going back home. Anyways, we persevered. Back broke again, but there we go. So another positive is we're hopefully going to get the last of our rubbish burned. And as you can see, I've got three pallets on there. I bought a bit of dry wood this morning, uh, a bag of uh, dry logs and a few kindling sticks just to get started. And uh, the pallets are a bit wet. But I've got the dry stuff in the bottom there and I've got those stacked up like that so the heat off the fire uh, is going to dry them as it goes along and uh, hopefully we're going to get shot of it once and for all. And if the sun stays out you can see these are actually starting to dry off now in places. So I'm just praying that it's, the sun lasts long enough and the wind to actually uh, dry these off. Some are drying quicker than others. Uh, that one there is completely saturated. Um, that might take some doing, but if we throw it on the fire at the last minute um, and, and, and stretch it over the top like this, then hopefully uh, they'll dry, soften and eventually uh, burn. So, 
There we go guys, there's not a lot else I can do now till obviously this is burned out. Uh, but even if I could just get rid of all of this and uh, and those, that'll be a good bonus. And that's a good day's work on its own, just loosening all this up. So, we'll see how it goes anyways. Uh, I think we'll go and get a cup of coffee now while we're waiting for the fire to do its job. And we'll catch up with you later. See you later guys, bye. Back in the shed now guys, having a cup of coffee. Uh, just made this, so I'm just about to start on it. Mother Nature. So fickle. Um, probably one of the most power powerful, if not the most powerful, thing on the planet. And she can work for you, or she can work against you. Part of me says that when she's angry and doesn't want to... Um, play ball, maybe we should take notice and sit back and think, okay, we can't do this today, it's not meant to be. But then another part of you says, you're running out of time, you've got to get cracking, no matter what. Now I've never been a one to get beat easily, ever. But this last couple of weeks has probably taught me something. You can't do the impossible. Um, and when Mother Nature decides she doesn't want to play a ball, she doesn't play a ball. Conversely, when she wants to play a ball, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, she's also unpredictable, so we can't plan our time off work for to fit in with Mother Nature. Uh, it's so variant. It can be four seasons in a day, or it can be six weeks of boiling hot sunshine, or it can be six months of torrential rain and gale force winds. We just can't predict it. So we just have to do what we do. And that's the nature of human beings. We try to work against it. And sometimes we don't take advantage of, add advantage of it when we can. Never mind. Um, so the point I'm getting to here now is, I came up with a few dry sticks and a couple of dry logs. I had three wet pallets to burn. I had the uh, old ground sheets, the old uh, weed membrane, which the wind was doing a good job of, so he and Mother Nature couldn't kicks in and started to dry them out. The fact we've had a bit of sunshine as well has also helped to dry them out. And having the fire on the open ground um, was a bigger bonus because I had big items to get rid of and it wasn't practical to smash them up and put them in the bin. One, it's more work and two, it just wasn't practical. And then Mother Nature comes along again and she created a wind just right. Not blowing me off my feet, but absolutely perfect for getting the fire going. The best I've had in, in all the time I've been trying to burn the fires. Had I waited till today, it would have been ideal. We could have got the lot done in one day instead of doing it in dribs and drabs and fighting. But like I said, Mother Nature doesn't work that way. Um, but today, lit the fire, got the pallets stacked up, and it's roaring away like no man's business. It's it, brilliant. It's burning fantastically. Just before I came over to make the cup of coffee, I actually took down the um, the old wind. Uh, the old weed membranes even, off the fence, as they were probably three quarter dried out, and I thought any little bit that's left will dry out on the fire. Um, so because I'd stuck, uh, I would then laid the pallets down flat on top of each other, in like a sandwich, and the wind was still roaring up underneath. So I laid the weed membrane on the top pallet and draped it over the sides. And obviously the heat of the fire and the flames dried out the weed membrane and they, they basically left them there burning now while I'm having a cup of coffee. But by the time I finish this cup of coffee, when I, I envisage when I go back over there, there's not going to be a great deal left to burn um, or much left of the fire. Purely simply because it's just burning that well. Now I don't want to speak too soon, but the sun is still shining. Um, but I'm going to anticipate rain um, because it was forecast. So. All I can do is um, continue and see how far I get. <clears throat> Excuse me now, so um, the challenges I had this morning when I came up was, first of all, 
even though I'd aerated the ground yesterday, it wasn't sufficient, basically. So when I came up, the one half side of that plot was literally like a river. It was just running down like a river with nowhere to go. Um, and it was finding its way through the little fork holes I put in yesterday, but it just wasn't disposing of it fast enough. So it was like a, sl a sludge pit again. So the first hour I spent uh, breaking my back, getting in there with a fork, a uh, spade this time, sorry, digging down deep and actually lifting and levering the spade right back till I could hear the suction and the water running away uh, on every single spadeful. And I was hard going, but it had the desired effect. It's got rid of all the surface water, for now. So, um, yeah, we're going to burn the pallets off, but then I'll have another challenge in the fact that the ground will be red hot. And um, unless I spread it out and into maybe some of the uh, the wetter ground, then perhaps I can get some cardboard down. And who knows? Well, I might even get a start on the uh, on the growing beds today. But we'll see. So I'm going to finish this cup of coffee off, guys, and then uh, we'll go back and see how the fire's doing. And then we'll, uh, with a bit of luck, we'll get cracking and we'll get something else done. And if we do, we'll show you that later. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, bye. Another quick update guys, <coughs> so as you'll see now, all the weed membranes down off the fence. And the sun is still shining and that's all that's left of the fire. And Mother Nature's doing a great job of uh, sorting that out for me. It was almost out when I came back over, um, so I just got the few loose ends, threw them all back in the middle again, stacked them up, found another couple of old bits of wood that needed burning, and we threw them on there now. No doubt I'll keep finding bits of wood that needs burned going uh, along. However, for now, if I get this done, that'll be uh, a good job job. Even if I get no further, the fact that I've got this aerated slightly now, and I've got all that wood burned, and I've got rid of all the old weed membranes. It's a positive uh, day. Uh, and even if I don't get any further, then uh, I'm happy with what I've got done today. Okay guys, if we do get anything further done, we'll come back and give you an update later. See you later guys, bye. Okay guys, it's, um, it's now half past three. I've uh, been going all day, but it's been a very, very productive day, I'm pleased to say. The weather's held out. It did come on to rain for about five minutes, I think, but it was only very, very light, and uh, it held off. So uh, we've got good progress today. As I say, we got all this aerated earlier this morning. It's still uh, a bit boggy, but it's uh, thankfully dried off. Got rid of all the tarpaulins off the back of there. Yeah, that's what's left of the fire. And more importantly, we've had a good day building beds. So I've got six beds built here. I know it looks like two. That's just because they're stacked on top of each other. So basically there's six beds there. Um, and that's the size I've decided I'm going to have them. So they're eight foot long and they're 30 inches wide. And I don't really want too much um, by way of the beds because... Um, it's just more work, basically. It's just a, lo a lot of hard work. So I'm going to keep it uh, sort of minimal. But there'll still be plenty of uh, place for growing stuff and whatever. But the beds aren't going to stay that way. They're actually going to be going this way on here. And we're going to have one here, lengthways. And then the next one butted up to it, with no gap in between. Um, and basically, those two brought together will bring us out more or less so sort of just on the inside of this post and this is where I've decided I'm going to have the path down there so two of those beds brought on lengthways this way from the point where I have them at the furthest end there now I just put a couple of cans in there just to mark it um, so yeah, I put some canes down the backside for my line down there, 
and I put a couple of cans in here so there's going to be um, two foot spacings between them as well so I measured it up earlier and uh, the 30 that that's going to let me get basically it's going to let me get one two three four five six beds in here so that's six eight foot beds basically um, and that'll take me right up to pretty much this post here basically um, and then the path will go down there and I've got a few little bits of wood left 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 over which I'm probably going to run another seven foot bed down there and if I have enough two beds I've decided that this bed down here is getting disassembled I'm going to take it all apart even though I said I know I'll get another 12 month out of it it's all coming apart anything that's in there will just get dug out and threw into this bed here and, and all that's going to get scrapped out as well I've decided I'm going to put the compost bins in that corner there get some new pallets and make some new compost bins in that corner so um, it's only half past three I'm absolutely whacked though, I've never stopped. Uh, I've been trying to make good of the uh, fine weather while I could, or the dry weather at least. Um, and I've never ever, I've never stopped all day. So I had that one cup of tea this morning, uh, coffee this morning, and I haven't had one since, so I'm going over there for one now. But on a positive note, as I say, I've got all these six beds made here. Um, got all the wood burned for now. <laughs> There's that to go now. Uh, but we've got it all burned for now. We've got this area added and it is drying out uh, ever so slowly, but it is, it is now starting to dry out. So that's a really, really, really good day uh, and I'm absolutely delighted. Um, when I first pulled up this morning, I was in two minds whether to just go back home again because the rain had just come on again right after, as soon as I came out of the shop. I'm so pleased I didn't come uh, put the Wellingtons on and force myself up here because I've had a really, really productive day. Um, it's going to be too much probably to ask for some more fine weather tomorrow, but if it is, we should be able to make great progress. Catch you later guys, bye. Okay guys, Wednesday the 26th, just to round up. Well basically today was uh, a really good day. Um, I'm definitely feeling it now though, my me, uh, <laughs> me back is absolutely broken in about 16 bits. Um, but yeah, positive day overall. The sun stayed with us for most of the day. Uh, absolutely ironic. Um, perhaps you got fed up with me morning and decided to give me a break after all. Either way, um, the woods burned, the pallets are burned, all the uh, ground sheets burned. I got the uh, one half of the uh, growing area aerated again. Got rid of the stream that was sitting there this morning. Uh, it's still not fantastic, but unless we get some dry days to dry the ground out, it's, it's you know, it's going to take its time. Uh, just in the shed now, and just about to have a cup of coffee, as I say, I've only had one all day. Uh, I'm absolutely gagging for a drink. Um, really positive day. Really pleased with the progress. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day, but I, I believe I've made probably more progress today than I have any other day that I've been up. So as I say, yeah, we got the uh, all the wood, the rest of the wood burned. <clears throat> we got all the um, weed membranes, but more importantly, I've uh, got six growing beds uh, cut to size and all screwed together, basically ready to go. Uh, the ground was still a bit hot when I raked out the ash from the fire, and I decided not to put any cardboard down after all. Although I still have plenty of daylight in there. I know I'm an advocate of taking advantage of Mother Nature when she offers it, but uh, my body won't let me continue, basically. Um, I'm just so tired. And I don't know if you can hear this uh, or not, but as I'm speaking now, it's opening up from the high heavens and the rain is now starting to battle on the uh, shed. So that's basically her uh, saying, no, you've done enough for today. Yeah, you're not getting another go at this, so get yourself away home. So as soon as I've had this cup of coffee guys, that's exactly where I'm heading. I need something to eat as well. Um, didn't have any breakfast this morning when I came up. My own fault. I've had nothing to eat all day. So um, a nice hot bath, a bite to eat, and an early night uh, I think is going to be the nature of the day. But absolutely delighted with the progress that's been made today. 
Um, if you're still following me along, please do continue. Um, you might hear me have a little whinge now and again, but yeah, okay. Don't we all? Um, I'm going to try and remain positive. Um, we'll see what tomorrow brings weather-wise. I, I, I don't think we're going to get any day, any, day, any thing like today. But if we do, we will certainly take advantage of it. So, thanks again guys. Keep on watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Any comments or suggestions in the uh, comments section down below? Most welcome. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.